G'day everyone, my name is Dwayne Woolley and I have had three hair transplants in my life. So I had the first hair transplant when I was 26, the second when I was 27, and the third when I was 28. Actually, I'm still 28, I turn 29 in a few months. I started losing my hair when I was just 18 years old and it sucked. Now, 10 years later, I've got it all back again. Having my hair back again has made me really happy, confident, and not insecure. I'm able to focus on things I want to get done now. When I talk to people, I don't have to worry about them staring at my hairline. You know, just things like that. It's, it's been life-changing to have my hair back again. Some people prefer the bald look, but it just, it just doesn't look good on me. In this video, I'm going to talk about what a hair transplant is, what happens during a hair transplant, the post-care instructions, and the results. Now, I'm not a surgeon, I'm not a doctor, I'm just a guy that's had three hair transplants and I'm sharing with you my experience and what I went through. I've been living here in the Philippines for about six years now and I used to be on television. Nowadays, I more do YouTube videos and events hosting. Every time I used to have a TV appearance, I'd have to put fiber in my hair to cover my, my baldness. Like this show, for example, I love OPM. Singing on stage with a boy band and then, oh, wait a second, what's that? That's not hair. It became really obvious. Anyway, one day I was watching a TV show, an episode of Extreme Makeover, I think it was, where I saw they did a hair transplant. Now, what is a hair transplant? In layman's terms, a hair transplant is basically when a surgeon extracts hair from the back of your head and puts it at the front of your head. Simple. I found one doctor that I thought was particularly impressive. Dr. Arambulo. After speaking with Dr. Arambulo, she told me there's, there's two ways you can do it. There's a way that will leave you with a scar at the back of your head, or a way that will leave you with no scar. Now, the way with the scar is faster. It's a faster procedure, and it's less expensive. The way with no scar is more expensive and takes a lot longer. The way with no scar is called FUE, or follicular unit extraction. This means they pull out each graft piece by piece and then put it in the front of your head piece by piece. So that's why it takes longer. Even though it was more expensive, I chose that option just because I'd rather have a good result and pay more money than have a bad result and, and still pay money anyway. So I filmed my very first hair transplant. Now this is what it looked like. Life. As you can see here, I'm missing hair. First of all, they shaved my head. head completely shaved my head. I had never been that bald since the day I was born. They put markings on my head where, where they were gonna extract the grafts and where they were gonna put them. Then they injected anesthesia into my head. Now this was the, the only painful part of the procedure. After the initial injection of anesthesia, I didn't feel anything. They had me lie on my face and then they started to extract the grafts from the back of my head. After that, they had me turn around and sit up and then proceeded to insert the grafts that they took from the back of my head into the front of my head. Halfway through this procedure, I did start to feel a bit of pain. So they injected anesthesia again, which was, you know, painful. But apart from those two injections of anesthesia, I didn't feel anything. It took seven and a half hours. When they sent me home, they gave me the following things. They gave me a bottle full of NSS. I had to spray the transplanted area front of my head every hour after the procedure. They also gave me painkillers, a sponge for washing my hair, and an antibiotic ointment for the back of my head. They told me not to bend down and that I had to sleep elevated. They gave me a video which was really helpful on post-care instructions, how to sleep, how to shampoo. The next day after the procedure, I had to go back to the clinic so they could take the bandages off and then do a quick check to see if any grafts had fallen out. Luckily, none of them had. They told me I couldn't go to gym for five days and even then I couldn't you know, lift heavy weights, but I could go back to my normal routine after two weeks and I could even go swimming again after two weeks. They also told me I had to avoid sunlight for a whole month. Now I documented my first hair transplant results. So let's have a look at that. So you can see I was, I was pretty happy with the result. You know, I had a full head of hair again. However, 
had to go get a second hair transplant. Why? The transplanted hair is permanent. Okay, so anything that they take from here and put here is permanent and never falls out, unless of course you surgically remove it again. What was happening with me was I hadn't finished losing my hair yet. My hair had not finished receding. So my original hair, not the transplanted hair, my original hair started to recede again. So you can see it didn't, it looked weird. Okay, I needed to go back for another hair transplant to fill in those gaps. After the second hair transplant, I was pretty happy, but again, I still hadn't finished losing my hair. It, the original hair kept receding. So then I had to go back again for a third and final hair transplant. Now, hopefully I've lost all the hair that I've needed to lose genetically. I mean, my father's not bald, he still has hair, but you know, it's, it's receded. My brother as well, my grandfather. Now I documented the third and final hair transplants results. Now you'll see in the results that it, it looks as if the hair starts growing and then it falls out again and then grows back again. So this is because after they transplant the hair, the transplanted hair will fall off, but the graft is still inside your head. So a new bit of hair will start growing again. Hair transplants are amazing. Because I've had three hair transplants, I've got a full head of hair again, which I never thought I'd ever get back. Let's give you a close up of what my hair looks like, okay? So I've got no, no fibers in there whatsoever. Okay, it's just, that's all transplanted hair you're seeing there. This is what I look like before, and this is what I look like now. So hopefully this video has helped you out a bit and helped you decide if you wanna get a hair transplant. If you do wanna contact Dr. Arambulo, the surgeon that did my hair, I'll leave her website in the description below. Now, how much does a hair transplant cost? Well, it depends from surgeon to surgeon. They usually price it per graft. So they'll say like maybe $2 per graft or something like that. If you wanna know how much Dr. Arambolo charges, just click the link in the description below. Go to the contact us section and then ask her there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Hope this video has helped you out in some small way. All right, until next time, want the fam, Dwayne is out. You're beautiful, shine like a star. You got me for Maraming salamat po, Duanda Fam, sa panonood. Salamat kaayos, salamat ng Lord of the Iyong Matanan. If you want to watch something na isa sa mga astig na video namin, i-click nyo po dito. Wag yan, wag yan ito. Dito, mas maganda to. Click nyo yan. Hindi, wag kayong maniwala dyan. Okay, ito ang astig. Ano ka ba? Mas maganda to. Try nyo, mas click ba? Bebe! Patang-lit muna. Kasi, ang-lit mo din. Sige na, click mo na to. Salamat. Maraming salamat.